Hey -o, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and I'm joined again with Riddler Revenge 75. Hey guys. And today we're gonna be looking at the werewolf, uh, which he created. It's kind of in in the spirit of the Halloween uh, creations. It's a spooky wooden coaster. So uh, stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, guys. So welcome back to Riddler Week Day Day Four, I believe. And uh, this one was sent in by our legend builder himself, Riddler Revenge. Should I read it off, or do you just want to start talking about it? Uh, uh, read it off. <laughs> sure. He says, "Hi, Johnny. This is my third, uh, third and last creation for Little, uh, Riddler Week Werewolf, a hybrid coaster in horror theme. The coaster will take you from a mansion to a secret cave into a twisting ride in which you will be hunted down by soldiers." that use guns, cannons, cages, and other devices. Be sure to ride during nighttime and use the track view. It also comes with some extra content that needs to be downloaded. Do we get that? I don't know if we did that. Uh, it's just some images, so it's not that important, I think. Okay, because, yeah, we would have to reload it. Um, it's fine like this. Okay, so uh, you were saying that uh, when we were planning Riddler Week, we wanted to do seven videos. He, he picked four that were old that we never ended up featuring, and then uh, he built two new ones, and then we're like, well, we need a seventh so he decided to build this and it just so happens that it falls right into the month of october did you do that on purpose uh not really i was building this and then i had some objects left in the 4k and what i did is added a lot of halloween stuff because the halloween pack came out just a day ago when this was almost finished right. and i had a little added, added a lot of halloween effects that were in that expansion the color of fire and stuff so it just works out by coincidence that it works really well for our kind of October theme. We're fe featuring a lot of spooky blueprints and then at the end of the month we're going to have a marathon of spooky uh, blueprints because we have a contest and uh, we, I don't know how many submissions we'll get, but we usually get about 30 to 40 for the coaster contest so I'm assuming it'll probably be two, three coasters a day from the 20th all the way to the 30th and uh, yeah, so big month for spooky blueprints. Pretty awesome. You can press play, then you probably see already some of the effects that are in, the, in this ride right like the thunder on the lift hill yep um Werewolf. what i also did with um this ride is that i placed some of these soldiers here uh with the guns and some with cannons and they really shoot at the ride that's all triggered oh where are they they're hard to see um one is if you go to your left uh beside the station i no nah, that's another one <laughs> these guys there are a few yeah those then there are a couple of there on the wooden platforms with cannons over there nice and i think there are like 15 or maybe 20 crossed all over the ride that basically shoot at you as you pass by. And there is a, uh, a cage construction as well. Uh, there where it um, on the right. If you go all the way to the start of the lift, this part. Oh, that is awesome. That basically I'm trying to capture like the werewolf. Cage that, like, yeah, you need exactly. to drop it down and capture it. Oh, that's amazing. Exactly. What an awesome idea. Yeah, and there's uh, one, if you zoom in now, a little bit, and go to the left. Uh, no, with the camera to the left, I mean. This? Oh. No. <laughs> um, there in the bushes, you see it? There with a the yellow light, if you zoom in, there. There is one as well, and it has a trigger. And oh, it's, it's a basically trap. He's trying to drop a boulder. Yeah, it's for an explosion that's inside that cave as well. Oh, neat. You don't. He's trying know, to trap him like, in yeah. the cave. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's so awesome. So these soldiers are shooting at you and trying to trap you and everything. <laughs> what an awesome idea. Oh, wow. <laughs> the lighting's beautiful on this. And I like the sign being way up high like that. It's, it's just got a lot of presence, you know? Beautiful yeah. boarding station the as well. I the ID of this ride came from a real roller coaster uh, inside of Europa Park in Germany, and it has some similarities to this one. It doesn't invert the real one, but it also crosses the station, and it has a bit of the same design. 
It has right. a completely different scene though, but um, so they have uh, the audience hasn't seen it at day yet. They saw it in the setup, I suppose. We'll just take a quick peek at it here at daytime. I know you intended it to be at night. We'll ride it at night. I mean, we'll we'll definitely ride it at day just because you can see things a little clearer. Uh, but we'll do that mm -hmm. last. All right. Very nice. So yeah, with this one, I had like when this was. For me, finished, I was at 3k objects, and like I said, then came the spooky blueprint, or the spooky expansion pack came out, I right. bought it, and then I just added a thousand other pieces of the spooky pack to add to this as well. There's a little werewolf, in, if you look at your back now, there's a little werewolf made of, oh. made of stone. Oh, yeah. awesome. <laughs> That's great. And there, there was where the custom image was supposed there to be. There should be an image, but it's not. It's just some images. It's not that special. So we'll go down the queue here. I always like your queues. Um, <laughs> we were talking about it when uh, before we started doing recordings. I think it was the very first episode I, I featured you in uh, Coaster Spotlight 2. I like how you named the uh, Fast Pass yeah. Quick Bite. Um, I was saying that your queue was too long. You used to do these like mile long queues. Uh, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were saying you you reminded me of that. You were like, oh, the feedback you gave me was the, you know, long cues, and I shortened that down. I totally forgot that that's what I mentioned to you, but you you immediately <laughs> started compacting your cues a little bit more, um, and then, yeah. and decorating you, that because they were so much shorter, you were able to like jam pack them with decorations. So uh, your cues have always been very yeah. interesting to walk down. Exactly. Also with um, the Twisted Sister roller coaster, you told me that the uh, the screens, the videos were really heavy on the game. That you got yeah. what was it, ten frames or a second or something? That's not your fault though. Uh, yeah, but that's also the reason why I, in these new eyes, I didn't use any videos. I only used uh, images, custom. Yeah, and some yeah. Music I strongly uh, suggest avoiding the screens. However, the images are fine, guys. It's the videos that seem to do it. So if you want billboards and stuff and custom images, it's no big deal. I'd, at least I don't think. I haven't tested it to the amount of hundreds, but uh, it only takes like one or two screens to notice um, a 50% frame rate hit. Um, from the video screens. <clears throat> so there it is. Uh, should we check out the ride stats and get on it? Let's see here. Yeah, sure. 5.41 excitement, a 4.12 fear, and a 0 0.72 nausea. Here's the stats if you guys want to check them out for yourself. And um, yeah, let's go on to the station and jump on this guy. I'm, I'm going to try it with the volume all the way up. I think I'll, uh, people will still be able to hear you. Um, but there's a lot of right. good sound effects and spooky music from what I can tell. You might not be able to hear the music as well because we're doing the track view, but... Alright. So this is basically the secret cave. You see there's a little bit of... Ooh. Yeah, some spooky stuff in there. Got the crossover again. Some dumb... Yeah, like you saw in the Just first like one. The, uh... Ragnarok. Yeah. Ooh. And there it goes. Oh, nice. So it turns upside down as it goes down. That's amazing. You don't see that too often. Sure And there's a mid-course break here, just to make sure that three trains will run smoothly. Alright. There was one of the cannons, but you don't see it because it's way too fast. Anyway. We'll probably see it in cinematic. Nice. And there's the explosion of the guy that you saw earlier. And there's some guards there. And that's it. 
Awesome. Well, maybe what we'll do for daytime, uh, we'll ride the back of the train. This is a gnarler, right? Wooden coaster. Uh, we can see over the seat. I think it is. The new one. No, no, it's the older one. Oh wait, what, what one am I thinking? It's not a. It's a hybrid coaster. Uh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can definitely see over the seats on this one though. Now let's try it. Now hopefully we get some good cinematic shots on this. Do you have uh, anything touching? Oh yeah, yeah. Sometimes when the track is touching art assets, you can't pull the camera out. Yeah, it go if it goes through some tunnels and stuff like that, it always goes into track. Field. Yeah. There we go. It's a shame that you almost don't see the soldiers shooting at you. <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah, you don't see it. But then again, now you know that they are there. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm seeing them there. Yeah, at the end there's like a, few, a dozen or something. But they're also spread out across the entire line. Alright, let's check this out at daytime. So for this one, I want to try. Uh, the back seat? Yeah, seat four. Yo! Huge guy in front of you. <laughs> I'm really curious to see the, the first uh, drop off the lift at the back of the train. It should look pretty awesome. I didn't look at it that way. Oh, look at that! Yeah, there's so much smoke in it as well. The guy is wearing a fitting t-shirt for a Halloween ride. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> is that with the update? Because... I don't know. I haven't must seen be, it yet. Right? I didn't realize they added Avatar clothes. Oh. And yeah, now you see that it's... A really little rough. ...pretty wide, yeah. And it's something to do with this type of roller coaster. It's yeah, this, this is a tough one to get smooth. For sure. I love that cage idea. That's great. You got some bats in the cave. Yeah, true. that's true. Yeah. Let's just uh, do one more cinematic for those who want to see it. We'll wrap it up there. This part's interesting here. What is that? Is this 
red smoke? Uh, it's red smoke, yeah. It's, uh, it also came with the oh, wow. Halloween pack, I think, or the spooky pack. The yeah. colored smoke. Pretty happy they did that. Yeah, because I was already waiting for that for a long time. The only, the only thing we now need is colored water. Oh, we'd love to have that. That's a, that's a really good idea, actually. I never thought of that. They can make basically lava or a blood river or, or whatever you want, basically. Swamp, stream, slime, sludge. Yeah, that's awesome. Exactly. I mean, you can kind of pull it off if you put like basic shapes at the bottom, and then uh, light, because like they'll see yeah. through the water. But it's, it's not the same. No, it's not the same thing. Uh, maybe Frontier is Frontier is listening. Who knows? Hopefully. In the next. I'm actually also really looking forward to the uh, to the water roller coaster. The what? The water roller coaster. Oh so yes! Oh my invisible. god, that looks amazing. Yeah, yeah I think that's my favorite thing of the update, other than custom scenarios. That, holy moly! Mm. I've been waiting for yeah, that the be whole done. year. Yeah, but then I'm also curious on the third roller coaster they're going to release. There's one they haven't talked about until this day, I think. Yeah, what was the second one? It was another wooden coaster, right? Yeah, yeah, it was a... Uh... And then there's a, supposed to be a third one, and I don't know what that is. Yeah. Looking forward to it, though. For sure. So, yeah, that's rare. Beautiful work on this one yet again, Riddler. So there you go, guys. Another spooky coaster for your Halloween parks that you're building this month. I think it's a perfect addition. And you got three trains running on this one, so if you're actually playing the simulation aspect of this, which you definitely will be when the November update comes, because uh, custom scenarios means more people will be playing um, the simulation aspect of the game, right? A lot of people are playing sandbox, so I think this is going to be a great fit for, you know, um, your scenario maps and if someone does a haunted scenario map it's a, this is a good one so really nice work on this one riddler and uh, thank you and that's gonna do it for this episode of riddler week or riddler week day four everybody so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoy please be sure to smash that like button and share on social media and um, i hope you all have a wonderful day and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video bye now see you guys